Good evening, my friends, and welcome back. Um, before we get started on tonight's project, I just want to share with you an idea I had um, about making a little six by six look special. I get these shadow box frames from Michaels. They come with glass. I remove the glass. The backing is a padded uh, piece of fabric, but it's a very neutral color. I I uh, cut out a piece of poster board, either black or white, depending on the pour, and um, put that on. And then I, I glue this on with super glue in there. And so you can see it, it goes above the edge. That's why you can't use the glass. If you use a, um, a shallow one, of course, you could keep the glass on. But I think it's kind of neat this way. And I... Um, I don't know if you can see this. I don't worry about the edges. Um, once I'm happy with the composition, I'll stop and then I'll come back when it's dry and paint the ed the voids with a, a solid color. That's an example of that. But anyway, I think this was the first embellishment I ever did. The pour was pretty, but on its own, mm, no great shakes. But I had an idea to put this butterfly on there, or to paint something. So I did that, and then I saw these cells, and I thought, oh, they would make cute little water drops. So I painted those on there. Uh, third one there. Yes, I always do things in threes. Um, anyway, it's pretty cute. It's for sale on my website, but uh, <laughs> not that I'm here to sell things. But feel free to look. <laughs> but I am so excited about tonight's project. I needed to get a new vinyl tablecloth for my table here. So I went to the store that we have here called Five Below. It's kind of a cheesy store, but um, they everything is $5 or less. And there I found this little accent table, 14 inches in diameter on metal legs, five bucks. And I love pouring on a round surface. So um, I'm, I'm super excited about this. Um, if it works out, I think it would be great to resin. And it just makes a lovely little accent table. And round canvases are expensive. So here you get a canvas and a table for five bucks. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm pretty animated tonight. I have, have had some eggnog with rum. So I'm very excitable tonight. Please uh, forgive me. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm doing the same color palette I did last night. I wasn't crazy about the composition, but I was crazy about the colors. So again, I'm using Artist Loft Ready Mix and Turquoise Black, White, and Silver. So here we go. I'm going to uh, do pretty much the basic ring and ribbon, but I'm thinking that I'll tell you about it as I go along. <laughs> okay, it's kind of a straight pour to begin with. I didn't prep this table in any way, but you know, again, it was only five bucks. So if I discover I should have, I will know better next time. And if it works out, I'm buying a bunch of these. I don't know where I'll put them. Maybe I can, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with them, but <laughs> where's the turquoise? Uh, I am looking for it. Did I? I thought I added so much. Isn't that crazy? I thought I was short on black and had too much turquoise, and I'm not seeing any. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, yeah. Close to the surface and up. You get a different look. Kind of a jiggle, back and forth, back and forth, mix it up. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is maybe just a ring pour. I might not do any drizzle, but if I do, I'm going to wait until after I've pretty much tilted and like the entire composition. Then I'll add the drizzle and 
tilt just slightly. I think they were, the ribbons were getting a little too wonky last night. All right, that's, <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. that should be plenty of paint to cover this. This is, as I said, 14 inches in diameter. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. And I don't see any boogers in there. So, here we go. I have so many ideas for things I want to do, just not enough time in life to do them all. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> that surface was black, so it's hard for me to tell where I've been, where I need to add more. You know what? I, I'm almost tempted to stop right there. I'm going to... It's kind of wonderful just like that. But I can see there's more... Um, there's bare surface. However because I'm the drizzle kid I'm gonna have to drizzle and then when I tilt that ever so slightly it should take care of these bare areas so here we go this is always the scary exciting part oh my gosh that silver and black is amazing I complained well, I shouldn't talk while I'm doing this. I complained about the silver last night, but I love silver. I'm sorry. I should have thought, put a little more thought into my drizzle. I don't want to overdo it because I like the look of that ring pour. I'm going to stop and... I think less is more in this case, so where do I have to I have to tilt over here? It really is difficult to see the black paint on a black surface. Maybe I should have um, gessoed at first, but I was so excited to try. Okay, that's covered. And I'll just come back when it's dry with black paint and touch up the edges if necessary. A little bit over this way. Oh, yeah. I think that's quite pretty. I think I'm going to call it good. It's, it's simple but effective. What do you think? Are you going to run out and get a five below table? <laughs> I looked, they have a website, but I didn't see these tables online. But I hope you can find one near you. Well, let's wait and see how it dries before we get super excited about it. But um, so far, so good. Okay, my friends. I think that does it for this evening. I think that was the quickest video I've ever done. See you next time and thank you for subscribing. Bye-bye.